welcome back again to my YouTube channel and this is my third educational video vlog and for today's video I would like you to share something lesson that can give us a learnings from this topic. So here we go, watch and listen. So let's talk about module 7, lesson 2, the topic of netizenship and etiquette in online communities. So first, what is netizen? According to Merriam Webster Dictionary, April 26, 2018, netizen is an active participation in the online community of the internet. The medical dictionary refers to it as an internet citizen who uses network resources which connotes civic responsibility and participation. So in other words, Netizen means citizenship in the internet or in the virtual world. So let's proceed to the netiquette. So what is netiquette? Netiquette, guys, is the rules of socially accepted behavior that needs to be observed in writing an email, texting, and other communication on the web. In addition, netiquette is a short of internet etiquette or a network etiquette etiquette guys is the guidelines for compute courteous rather courteous communication in the online environment so let's proceed the etiquette guidelines online students should know so there are eight guidelines or procedures that students should know especially nowadays we face this virtual world so first one is protect your reputation. So whether in real or in a virtual world, you are the same person. Do what is only appropriate and share information that does not harm you as a person. So from the word protect your reputation, we should protect our reputation to be in order from us to be safe. So second one is respect others. Respect begets respect. Treat everyone with respect even if you have not seen him or her in person. Be judicious about what you say on your own and others page. We should respect other people and accept somebody for who they are. Even when they different from you, or you don't agree with him or her we should respect always because if you respect from others might me you eventually receive a feedback to others so the third one is respect yourself clearly and use emoticons so communication online is difficult because emotions are not evident during communication so miscommunication usually takes place because your facial expression and your body language can't be seen and the tone of your voice cannot be heard. So emoji can help you accurately articulate your words both personally and professionally. However, it can be difficult to express your emoticons and even tone of your voice. When chatting with your friends, or co-workers online, emojis also help you to clearly and efficiently communicate your meaning and point when sending a message or an email to someone you work with. So the fourth one is remembered intellectual property. Ideas online are products of intelligence of others. If you need to cite them, acknowledge the authors. In short, we should have the consent of all the things that we should borrow, plagiarize, and copyright. And the fifth one is check spelling, grammar, and punctuation. So good writing means good manners. We don't want to waste your people's time reading our posts in which is incomprehensible. So by that word, we should um, be able to correct our grammars especially when we text or um, 
show a message from others and um, we should correct because some other people might be wrong because of our wrong grammar uses so if you want to show them correctly to the readers we must correct our grammar first in order from them to understand and the sixth one is pose before you post because take note that whatever you post become permanent therefore think twice or thrice before you click or send do not post or send it if it would cause you any measure of embarrassment in the eyes of other people if you post and you never think well your post can lead you to discrimination and one example from that is you bully seven is do not share your personal information sharing your personal information online is like going around the streets wearing a shirt printed with your name birthday address name of parents and etc providing all this publicly will make you prone to identify thief by that if you shared your personal information you easily trace especially from the stranger so we must keep our accounts or password in order from us to be safe so last one is think about who or what you are representing so as a son or daughter you represent your family as a student you represent your school so by that we should be able to have a good role model in order from them to show you and to show them that you are a good person that you are a good member from that certain group or organization so before i end this topic i will leave a quote by soren k Kigard. so this quote is life can only be understood backwards but it must be lived forwards and that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching this video and god bless everyone bye bye